Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a few weeks since I uh, pushed out a video. Um, I swear I did not have coronavirus. I just kind of been taking it easy uh, as far as videos go, but as far as like my podcast and stuff, I've been super busy. If you guys haven't actually checked out my podcast and you're, you know, one to listen to podcasts, check out Gun Funny. You can find the show at gunfunny.com. All right, so today I'm going to be talking about holsters, mostly holsters that women can carry, which you know, it seems to be a much more difficult task than for men to carry, which they typically carry like inside the waistband. It's a lot easier. Women, you know, they have tighter clothes, tighter pants. It's not always comfortable. For me, it always feels like it kind of limits my mobility. So I wanted to talk about a bunch of different options. And before we start, I just want you guys to know that I'm not sponsored by any of these companies that I'm about to discuss. I'm not really partial to one or the other. I'll just give you my opinion. It might work really well for you. And you know, maybe it didn't work great for me. Everyone's body type's different. Your lifestyle's different. For me, the most important thing is that it has good retention, so it's not just gonna come out of the holster. It's also important that it covers the trigger and the trigger guard. So the first thing that I'm gonna start with is Tactica Defense Fashion. It's a purse. There's a lot of controversy around purses. Um, most instructors, they will frown upon off-body carry. And, you know, I understand their, their points, but at the end of the day, I also live in the real world. I understand that, you know, especially with summer here, it could be like 100 plus degrees, you're wearing shorts, tank top. You may not always be able to find a holster that's gonna work with your outfit that day. I don't frown upon purse carry. It's just really important that you're responsible with it. So just know that you're not gonna have as quick access to it. You have to keep the purse with you at all times. Like even when I go grocery shopping, that purse is on my shoulder. I don't even put it in the cart. And if you have kids, then I would probably steer away from carrying in your purse just because there's been a lot of incidents where kids will look in your purse, maybe they're looking for gum or something, and they're going through your purse, they find the gun and an accident happens. So um, as far as purse carrying, so this one is very typical to a lot of the purse holsters that you would see out there. It's uh, located on the side, so you have you know, this huge section to put you know, all of your other stuff in. I'll be completely honest, I'm a little bit of a purse knob, so I prefer like certain brands. Uh, we'll get into that in a second, but I personally don't carry like this. So how this one works is you would first put your gun in the holster and then you would position it accordingly. So there is uh, like a Velcro inside, it sticks accordingly, and depending on if you're right-handed or left-handed because it goes on, you know, both sides, um, you can access the gun either way. I also see that there's some keys, so it looks like you could actually lock this. So maybe if you weren't using your purse and you wanted to make sure that your gun was secure, wasn't gonna you know, fall in the wrong hands, you could always lock it, keep this key in a safe spot. It's on both, both sides. Um, as far as quality, I don't love the quality of this purse. I like real leather, whereas like this is definitely kind of a, you know, like a faux leather. Um, I don't think that it would hold up that well over time. I'm not sure how much it retails for, maybe it's worth it. But again, everyone's different. What I do is I will typically take a holster and say I have my gun in here. I don't know if this one's gonna fit. All right, well typically this, this doesn't really fit that well, but I'll, let's say I buy like a tote purse. So I buy ones that have lots of different compartments in it. I'll designate one compartment to that gun and holster. And then I've gotten kind of creative and made my own. So I'll take Velcro and I'll put one side, you know, I'll stick one side to one part, the other side to the other part inside the purse so that it stays in place. And then I always have it where the emblem of my purse is sticking out um, in this direction so that I know that if I reach down, here's my gun and I can pull it out. That might be a good way to carry while still being loyal to certain brands. They also have, Tactica Defense has leggings. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see I did post a picture. What I really like about these, they have the option that you could either carry right here in the front, like right here in the front, or it's located on the back. I'd say probably about mm, four or five o'clock. And it has like a little polymer material over it so that nothing is gonna come in contact with that trigger. Getting your gun inside was a little bit difficult, which is actually a good thing because you know you know it's gonna stay in place. As far as drawing it, it wasn't hard at all. Carrying inside the waistband, 
for me is a little bit difficult at times just because I feel like it makes me, um, it's not as easy for me to conceal just because of my body shape or it kind of just seems like I have a little bit of a belly and in that case it's like, well, why am I working out when you know it looks like I have a little bit of a belly? But I'd say if you were going hiking or something, these would be pretty ideal. They also have inside the waistband, so this one is from Crossbreed Holsters. This entire thing goes in your pants. These clips clip on the outside. It's kind of like a hybrid holster where it has this backing. I know a lot of women love these. Again, I'm not really a big fan just because, like I said, it's a little bit more difficult for me to conceal. But as I've said, everyone's lifestyle and bodies are different. The last item that I have from Tactica Defense is a belly band holster. And I have another belly band holster that I'll go over here shortly. But what I like about this one is it's, uh, it has the Kydex, so it's molded specifically for your gun. This holster was molded specifically for a SIG P365, but I noticed it'll also hold the Springfield Hellcat. You guys, that my gun's unloaded. Sure enough, it's unloaded. This entire thing goes around, and what's kind of nice about this is it's kind of like one of those, I wouldn't say one size fits all. I'm sure you have to get different sizes, but this just goes through this little loop, comes back, and then sticks on. Maybe one day you decided to pig out on an entire thing of Oreos like uh, I have, and uh, you know, you gotta loosen it up a little bit. No big deal. Hey, your holster's still gonna fit. What I like about this one though is most belly band holsters, they typically sit where they are vertical, whereas this one's a little bit more horizontal, so it makes it a lot easier to pull out. And obviously, you know, it has that retention from the Kydex. Another belly band is this one, and this one's made by uh, Catapult Strong. I've seen lots of variations uh, like on Amazon and stuff. This one, the gun would go right here, and there's this little strap that's keeping it in. Um, here you can put like extra magazines, this little pocket. I typically put like my cookies and stuff because you know, you don't want to get hangry because you know, hangry is real. In my opinion, it's a lot more difficult to draw it vertically as opposed to horizontally. But going back to this holster, I'm not sure if they make it for people who are left-handed because you'd obviously have to draw with your right hand using this. Look on their website, they might have alternatives. All right, so next I'm gonna talk about flashbang. Flashbang is a female owned and operated holster company. So this one is the uh, Flashbang holster, the original holster that they came out with. I have a mannequin that I'm going to use to demonstrate. Her name is Betty. And it just so happens that Betty is wearing the right shirt. All right, so guys, don't get too excited. Betty is wearing a bra. Kind of show you how this would connect. All right, so. The only thing that I have against this holster is getting this clip on and off, this little button thing. So once it's on, it's not going anywhere, but getting it off uh, it can be a little difficult. All right, there we go. I'm like, wait, we're gonna have to start all over again. I can't get the button off. So this entire thing goes inside. And this is why it's so easy to conceal. And you're going to snap that on. So what I like about this holster is typically you would think, okay, well, regardless of your age, you don't want anything heavy pulling down, you know, your bra. Um, in this case, because you put the gun underneath your bra, it actually kind of raises it. So it kind of almost gives you a little bit of a, you know, like a little bit of a lift. Um, so that's beneficial and it's really easy to draw from. So it has like a clamshell type holster, kind of like a taco shell. So you would literally just lift your shirt up and then draw straight out. I personally, I think this is out of all the holsters, this one's my favorite, just because I could wear a pretty tight shirt and nobody would know that it's there. So super easy to conceal. It doesn't limit your mobility. You could still move around. Um, so if I use a gun that has an extended magazine, this kind of does dig in a little bit, but it's one of those things where you don't always have to use the extended mag or depending on the size of the gun, maybe, you know, the, the grip wouldn't be this long. So that would be my only complaint about it, that and the button, which is like really difficult to get on and off, but in a way you want that to happen because you don't want to pull up the gun and the entire thing just comes out. Okay, and just when you guys thought Betty was done, she's not. So if you look on the side, they have a 
side bra holster. I personally never used this one. I didn't really care for it. It just kind of sits there. It's almost like a shoulder holster. The only thing that kind of freaks me out about this is when you draw. So everybody's always like, oh, well, what if you like flag your arm or like appendix carry, you know, like, oh, I don't want my gun pointing down there. And it's like, or same thing with like the bra holster. At the end of the day, like if you, you know, train yourself to pull the gun out, your finger's not going on the trigger, you're not gonna shoot anything. It's not gonna just go off by itself. But the only thing that kind of does freak me out with the holster being right here is there's a major artery. So in the event that you did by chance accidentally, you know, pull that trigger prematurely, you might potentially shoot that major artery. Um, but again, you know, anything's possible with the, you know, with the right practice. And this is also made by Flashbang. Flashbang also has a few holsters that were made for belts. I don't know how well you can see this one. Um, this one, the belt kind of goes over it. So it kind of helps to conceal, but then your shirt would just kind of go over that. So it's not gonna stick out as much. All right, Betty, thank you so much. You were, you were just amazing, great help. Um, and then lastly, the sticky holster. This one doesn't have as much retention. You know, like I said, you can't really lift it upside down without it falling. But I do like this one. If you are like me and you live in leggings and you don't have leggings that are dedicated where it can hold a gun, this is kind of nice for, um, you know, if you were just gonna go for like a quick walk around the block or something or on a hike. I've worn, I've used this on plenty of hikes. It just goes inside your pants. Um, you can, you know, put it whatever direction. The reason why it's called a sticky holster is it has this kind of material that has a little bit of a, I don't know, it's like a weird texture. And you would think that, well, if you get sweaty, you know, it's gonna lose its ability to grip on and it doesn't, it actually works better for some odd reason. Once you have this in your clothes, like let's say between your skin, your pants, even if you're not wearing a belt, it absolutely does stay in place, uh, especially with leggings and stuff. So this also might be a good alternative. All right, I think that that covers all of the holsters that I have uh, for suggestions. They do have lots of other holsters, ankle holsters, shoulder holsters, lots of holsters that I didn't cover. And again, kind of going back to what I've said, you know, just make sure that it's molded for your gun, it has retention, and it's always covering up the trigger guard and trigger. As long as this part's covered up, nothing else is going to cause the gun to shoot. And as always, practice drawing from your holster because you can use the gun really well, be able to shoot bullseyes all day long, right-handed, left-handed, but if you don't take the time to properly practice to draw from your holster, and let's say you go to draw your gun and you don't pull it out enough and it gets caught on something and you drop your gun, that's gonna be a life or death situation. So absolutely practice drawing from your holster. You don't always have to go to the range to do so. You can do this in the comfort of your home. All right, guys, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out my podcast, gunfunny.com.